well, mate. Um, how's the team looking heading into uh, the game against Glory? Any fitness concerns? Any injury concerns coming out of last the last? No, game? no, no. We we are looking good. We have got uh, no issues at the moment. We still got a couple of training sessions left. Uh, our two young girls, they they had a uh, COVID are back in, in training now, so. Uh, we almost got uh, the full squad to choose from, which is which is very encouraging. So just the full squad, with the exception of Rebecca and Hannah, who have now gone to New Zealand duty. No, 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 they are here. Oh, they're here, so they're available for the weekend. They, of course, they have to okay. complete the game for us, and then they leave on Monday. Okay, excellent. So heading into this game, what if we saw the glory last night? They really hung tough and dug deep and eked out a win that they probably, you know, you wouldn't have expected them to get. What are you expecting from them on Sunday? Uh, exactly the same. I, I, I think, you know, I was reading what Alex said about uh, tough conditions where, you know, being away from the family, being away from loved ones, being away from friends. Uh, and, and But I think that situation really galvanized them as, as a unit. They've been together for, for a long time now. They, they got to learn about each other in and inside and out and, and I think you can see that camaraderie, the, the never die attitude, the fighting spirit that they have produced yesterday was just exceptional and then even when they were play down you could hardly say that they, they were you know handicapped. Um, I think the effort was, was unbelievable. It sounds mean, but against a team like that, is it important to, for lack of a better word, crush their spirit early, get a couple of early goals and break their resistance? Oh, I think, uh, I think that that's good, good uh, formula against any team, you know, can you score two, for two quick goals. But, you know, I mean, who knows how that, that game, last night's game would unfold if, if that goal was not disallowed. You know, maybe that would give uh, Adelaide a little bit uh, more encouragement. Uh, but you know they still had enough time. If you know if you are good enough, you have you got enough time to rectify that uh, mistake that that referees made. But uh, yeah, uh, you know Perth was excellent. You know, and one player that stood out for me was uh, Sarah Kane. I mean, you know she was with us last season, and and to see her so dominant, uh, it was it was really good good to see her, her improvement under Alex. Because there's a couple of familiar faces as well. Obviously, there's Sarah Kane and there's also Sophia Sakalis that's been around Melbourne City for a while. So, uh, not uh, not a lot of surprises uh, coming for you with some of these fresh faces. No, no, no. Look, we I mean we know we know them, and uh, you know uh, we know they they were good players. Maybe they need a little bit time to establish themselves, like like any other player. Um, and as I said again, like probably the environment where they are now and and being away from all disruptions, you know, that every everyday life uh, throws at you, I think that is helping them as well, you know. So, although they may have some difficulties in, in that environment, I, I think for their performances, you could see how united they are. And, and you know, you could hear them uh, are talking to each other throughout the whole game, the communication, the, you know, the encouragement. I think that was excellent. And Yourself, Rado, now that we've established that you've got Scotty and Hannah for this game, apologies for getting mixed up, but do you have one eye on when they leave in the future throughout this game? Do you maybe start to experiment with who plays as the number nine once Hannah leaves, or is that some, is that a problem for the games ahead and you're not considering that for the glory? Well, it all depends how this uh, game goes on Sunday. You know, if, uh, if there is a uh, you know, result that goes either in our favour or in their favour and, and it's, it's uh, uh, unreachable for the, either for us or for them, then obviously you need to consider that. But as long as the game is in balance, I think we need to do our best because this is a very important game for us uh, uh, and for them. Obviously, you know, there, there's less and less games uh, to play for and, and every, every result is important. So, you know, we'll see how the game goes and make those decisions uh, on the run. As you mentioned, Rado, there's less and less games now in the season and it's increasingly looks like it's five teams competing for four final spaces on that ladder. You and Sydney would ostensibly look pretty safe, but at what point do you start looking at that table and start thinking about potential final matchups and that sort of thing? Uh, look, probably n not until you have, have got 
got no mathematical options to miss out, you know. Uh, uh, as long, you know, th there's still enough games for us to lose all five games and, and for someone to win their four or five and, and you know, you find yourself well be be beyond the line. Uh, but as long, as long as we are, you know, above the line and, and the situation is in our hands, you know, we, we are quite comfortable that we could, uh, you know, that we should qualify for the top four and also aim for top, for top two. Is that a message that you, you yourself and the more veteran players in this squad are drilling into the youngsters to not think about finals and just think about the next game ahead? Absolutely, absolutely. You know, if you start thinking about the finals, then, then you lose concentration on the current game. And I think, you know, that, that's something that we can't do. We, we have to, especially this game, we have to match their effort, their intensity, you know, and then hope that our quality will come on top. And just maybe just a quick word on uh, Rihanna. She's been named the PFA Player of the Month for her uh, play in the last few months. How good is it to have somebody like her break come into the side and play that role that she does in the midfield? Oh, look, she she has uh, she's been fantastic for us, and uh, she she brought a lot of experience uh, uh, from from previous campaigns that that she had. Uh, she said also being able to you know lift her game to the next level. Uh, she's scoring goals, she's setting up the goals, she's defending, you know, one of our key defenders in that front line. You know, so we are more than happy with, with, with her performance, with her attitude, uh, with her leadership, you know, so I couldn't expect any more than what she has delivered.